All right, Miles, let's talk Pittsburgh Steelers here a little bit. Look, the Steelers obviously last weekend wrapped up the NFL draft. I think a lot of pundits came out and said it was a really nice draft. They did a lot of things really well. A lot of credit goes to Omar Khan, but a lot of that is feelings and vibes. But we have a report, actually multiple reports, that this draft, if you look at the advanced analytics, was even better and smarter than a lot of Steelers fans probably realize. Yeah, Nick, I think the Steelers fans know they love the draft. We love the draft. Everyone loves the draft, but we got to hear it. You still want to talk about it. It's still close enough to the draft. So let us know. In the comments below, who was your favorite draft pick the Steelers made on draft night? There's a lot of really, really great ones. So let us know in the comments below. And I'd like everyone to stay tuned, Nick, to hear a word from the partner of today's video. That is Neuro. They have a product that gives you a quick and easy boost of energy. So once again, stay tuned to the end of today's video to learn more about Neuro and get your hands on that discount code. But Nick, nonetheless, what is going on down in Pittsburgh? Yeah, so obviously when the draft wrapped up, a lot of pundits, a lot of talking heads came out and said the Pittsburgh Steelers did a really nice job. And you and I talked about it offline that we thought they had a good draft. But, you know, sometimes that's emotion driven. Sometimes that's opinion. With stuff like this, now that we've removed ourselves from a few days, I always like to take a look at the advanced analytics. And you got Warren Sharp. He's a really smart analytics guy. He breaks down a lot of these things. He does it for, you know, game day performance, free agent performance, things like that. He did one for draft performance, focusing on value. And Miles, if you want to throw up the chart here, it really kind of explains it. And look, this is kind of confusing. I understand there's a lot of stuff here the big takeaway here is that thing at the top most valuable 2023 draft classes so this is the teams that got the most value for the picks right so they basically were teams picked in the draft the value they should expect to get from those picks versus the value they actually got and according to warren sharp the pittsburgh steelers had the second best job of getting the most value out of their picks really close second to the new york giants they beat out a team like the philadelphia eagles and cincinnati Bengals significantly a lot of pundits said that eagles were probably the smartest team in the draft if you look at you know the eagles and how Roseman, you know, smartest GM in the draft. You got Khan here giving him a run for his money based on this data. But it's not just this. You can leave up this report, Mize, but I'll go through a few other ones I have. Daniel Jeremiah, a draft guru. A lot of people know and respect his own analytics when he broke it down. The Steelers had the fourth most value added out of any team in the NFL draft, despite only having six draft choices. Teams like the Lions and the Colts in front of them had a lot more draft picks. Daniel Jeremiah also noted is that their most value over expected in terms of percentage. Uh, the Steelers finished third. Again, you had teams like the Colts that finished higher just because they had more picks so if you look at a team that came into the nfl draft and after all the trades did not have a whole lot of draft capital they obviously moved up here in a few situations at first round being the biggest example of that but the fact that they got as much value as they did i think is a real credit to omar khan and company and everything he's done as a gm i think he's had done a fantastic job since he's taken over this reigns but this 23 2023 draft that just wrapped up i think was a master class mize yeah, Nick, and I think they did really, really great here. And if you, you look, yeah, the, on the chart, New York Giants are in front of them. It's only by point one point. It's so they're fine. they're so, so close there. I think the Steelers easily uh, could be tied for number one if they want to, you know, give the New York Giants a, a few picks here. But I really love, love the Steelers draft. They got a lot of great players. Let's talk about a couple of them, Nick. First up, everyone's favorite and a Wisconsin outside linebacker. What possibly could have happened last time that the Steelers got a Wisconsin outside linebacker? We're all talking about TJ Watt, but this is Nick Herbig. I believe that's how you uh, pronounce his name. This guy has a very unique skill set, Nick. He's not he's pretty good size, like 6'2", 240, uh, but he's got a very interesting way of how he beats blocks. He has a really great change of direction but he can also drop into coverage if needed. So he's ideal for a linebacker that you want to play all the time. This guy has a good band. He's very flexible, lower half. So I I really love this pick. I think that it's a a very good one, but especially if they got him in the fourth round, Nick. This guy seems like a pretty big steal here. But Nick, there's an even bigger steal, and I want to get your thoughts on both of these once I go over this second one. And that was Corey Trice. This guy seems like the biggest steal of the draft of the Steelers for me, Nick, because he was drafted pick number 241. He was number 77 on the PFF big board. That's, you know, a few, like a hundred some odd uh, positions down the draft. They got this guy, Corey Trice, who is a great corner for Purdue. He's six foot three, 206 pounds. He's built like a linebacker. He can do great in press coverage. He's a really talented corner as well, but the Steelers get him all the way down in the seventh round. That's absolutely incredible. Nonetheless, Nick, what are your thoughts on some of these picks? Do you like any of these guys? Who are your favorites? 
Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. Like we talked about in the open, it's all these value guys. They got them much later than they were projected to go much farther in their draft selection than where they were slotted in the big board. And that's a real credit to Omar Khan, not just for getting a lot of value, but understanding the phase that your team is in. Because we've seen some teams, right? If they're, let's say, in a total rebuild mode, they go for value and it, it doesn't really work out. It's kind of what the Houston Texans did last season. They went a lot for value and it didn't work. Their team stunk. They were terrible. They had to completely reboot everything this year. We saw this, how they reacted. And then you have some of the top flight contenders like the Chiefs that kind of only pick a couple guys looking for specific matchups, you know, a specific, you know, nickel corner to match up against a, a, of an opposing receiver who gave them fits last season, right? That's what the contenders kind of do, the top flight, top dogs in each uh, conference. That's the way they kind of draft. The Steelers have their quarterback in Kenny Pickett. They've got some quality weapons. They obviously have their coach. What they really need to do is to complete the build out of the entire team around Pickett and to build out the defense. And the way you can do that across the board is by focusing on value. And Omar Khan deserves a lot of credit for recognizing, number one, that these guys were available and taking advantage of them. Because let's be honest, 31 other teams screwed the pooch a little bit here and they didn't take advantage of it. But two, recognizing this was the time in their team building phase to do so. Last year, it was different. You're trying to relaunch your entire offense. You get Pickett, you get Pickens, right? It's a completely different mindset. This year, you've rebuilt your firepower on offense with those two guys. Now it's about building out the team around them, and they get these other guys in the draft, these high-value guys. So again, Omar Khan is proving himself to be one of the smarter GMs, if not one of the more underrated GMs in football. He's done an outstanding job for the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big-time game-winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment you were able to have some neuro gum, neuro gum will help you stay concentrated, and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it. <laughs> 